giant spiders, black widows, or poison scorpions. Are you scared of those terrifying bugs? Today, we are going to the Bug Brigade event at the Natural History Museum and getting to know those creatures. My name is Paul Michael Maxfield. I work at the Natural History Museum of Utah, and I'm the Gallery Programs Coordinator. So this program is called Bug Brigade. It occurs on the second and fourth Saturdays of every month. Um, the idea of Bug Brigade is to provide guests with an opportunity to get up close and personal with uh, some uh, insects that you could find uh, here in Utah. I, I think that this that Bug Brigade is, is particularly unique and important because it uh, provides guests with a transformative experience. Uh, often when they uh, come up to the, uh, the bugs, they are they're nervous and they're scared. Uh, but um, after spending some time with the bugs and, and talking with the, uh, the uh, bug brigadiers, I think they start feeling more comfortable and uh, they're more uh, eager to actually hold the bugs. And when they do, they discover that um, even though uh, a cockroach looks terrifying, um, it isn't actually that terrifying at all. I get to bring them out and show them to people and help people see that insects and spiders are not just weird freaks of nature, but they're actually special creatures in their own right, important to our own lives. Um, and hopefully to help them f want to find out more of themselves. Um, me, you know, I'm really scared of bugs. Um, it was cool to see that people can actually pick them up and not be afraid of like stink bugs or, you know, I don't know, tarantulas. They're not that, they're not that scary. You can pick them up. They're, they're just like any other creatures. It's just the, the itty bitty crawly things that get people off track. So. The natural world is full of amazing things. And when you're out hiking, you can see the most amazing plants and animals. And if you feel comfortable around bugs, uh, you're more likely to actually kneel down and take a, a closer look, start making observations and asking questions. Um, in, you could do that or you could run screaming. And uh, we want to encourage people to, to take a closer look and, and really um, uh, allow their curiosity to be sparked by the things they see around them. Um, about the size, I've seen ones about the size of a quarter, just the bodies. Though that they have to live a while, a couple of years, most of them don't live that long. Yeah, because you know, and they need to get a lot of food. Yeah, I think that the more we know about insects, the less we may fear them, or may rightfully fear holding or touching something that's strange that you don't know what it is. So I think it's great. I knew of a tarantula. I didn't know of any other of the bugs. So it's neat to learn about things around us that we don't know very much about. We wanted to provide um, guests with an opportunity to spark their curiosity in the natural world. And also, handling insects is just kind of fun too. So a lot of the insects that we, that we feature here are from Utah. Some of, some of them are, are not, but a lot of them are. Um, so I encourage everybody, as when they're uh, going for a hike or, or even just spending some time in their backyard, to keep an eye out for the bugs that are around them. So for uh, more information, um, you can go to nhmu.utah.edu and you just search for Bug Brigade. It occurs on the second and fourth Saturdays of every month from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m.